What's up guys? Uh, welcome back to my channel, no? So, nakita nyo naman sa title ng video ko, no? Tuturo ako kayo kung paano magtali ng survey data nyo sa isang thesis nyo o sa isang research nyo. So, stay tuned and tuturo ako kayo kung paano. Hello guys, no? So may nakita akong um, survey or questionnaire or sabi natin instrument sa Jimmy Repo which is sinend nila sa akin dati. So, itong questionnaire na to is ginamit to ng mga nagpa-analysis sa akin dati, no? So, ang uh, questionnaire nila is to identify the job satisfaction in different parameters. So, the first thing sa part 1, I mean, ng, ng questionnaire nila is to identify the civil, I mean, to identify the demographic profile of their respondent. So, the first is yung age, yung sex, yung civil status, nationality, and also yung job status nung respondent nung pinikwestion mo. Okay? The second part ng questionnaire nila, so, dito, meron dalawang parameter, and yung mga parameters na yun, meron ding sub-parameter. So the first thing na I, I mean the first parameter is hygiene factor. Then makikita niyo marami siyang sub parameter which is ito company policy and administration, relationship with co-workers and so on and so forth. Next is yung pangalawang major parameter which is motivator. Then under noon which is my sub parameter which is compensation, benefits, um, achievements and so on and so forth. So i-convert natin yung questionnaire na to sa isang Excel file, okay? Para magkaroon ka ng database or matali mo ng maayos yung data na meron ka, no? So, the first thing you do, open tayo ng Excel file, okay? Then, second, kukunin natin yung mga pangalan ng demographic profile na kinukuha mo. So, dito, uh, age, so, yung sabi niya, sex, civil status, nationality, and also job status. Okay. So, meron ka ng, uh, what we call this one, demographic profile ng uh, respondent mo. Ngayon, sa part 2 na tayo, no? So, sa part 2, sabi dito, meron kang hygiene factor na parameter and may sub-parameter siya. So, sa every sub-parameter may tatlong question, no? So, ilan ba yung sub-parameter sa hygiene factor? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 times 3, 18, no? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, lagyan natin siya ng color. So, etong yellow na to, it will represent the uh, questions na meron ka doon sa hygiene factor. So, pag input ako ng dalawang column, then yung first column natin, ay first row, I mean, mag input ako ng dalawang row, then yung first row natin, i-merge ko at papangalan akong hygiene factor. Para ma-identify ng statistician nyo or ng analyst nyo na okay, itong question na to is under siya ng main parameter which is hygiene factor. Okay? So the first three questions, i-merge natin or the first three um, cells sa second row, i-merge natin at ilalagay natin yung company, policy, and administration. So, masyado siya mahaba. So, gagawa na lang natin siya ng uh, vibration. So, CPA. So, meaning, itong uh, sa under ng hygiene factor, meron kang sub uh, parameter na CPA. Then, yung tatlo, yung under ng CPA, ito yung questions niya. Okay? So, pwede natin lagay CPA 1, which is question number 1 sa CPA. CPA 2. Then, CPA 3. Okay? 
So next, yung relation with co-workers. Yan. So, gagawin ko muna siya um, lahat, no? So, ito muna, relationship with co-workers. So, pwede natin ilagay na dito. Firstly, ulit. Um, RW. Relationship with co-workers. So, RW1, RW2, RW3. Next, physical environment. So, under, may tatlo ulit siyang question. So, physical environment. So, PE1, PE2, then PE3. Next is supervision. So, pwede natin lagay soup. So, may tatlong question ng ulit siya. So, soup. So, soup 1, soup 2, soup 3. So, under ng soup, may status. So, pwede natin lagay ng stock. So, SDA. So, SDA 1. STA 2, STA 3. So, under nun, may job security. So, first three, may last three rows. Then, job security, pwede JS, no? JS 1, JS 2, JS 3. Okay. So, parang ma-analyze natin. So, under ng hygiene factor, meron kang uh, anim na subcategory, which is CPA, RW, PA, SOAP, STA, and JS. So, under ng CPA, pero kang three question, which is na-identify ng CPA 1, CPA 2, then CPA 3. So, next naman, RW, RW 1, RW 2, then RW 3. No? So, next naman natin is yung motivator. So, again, bibilangin natin kung, kung ilan yung subcategory niya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 times 3, 18 ulit. So, copy lang natin ito. Uh, sa mag ng ganun na, no? Magbilang ulit. Okay. Then, square content lang tayo. Then, dito ulit. Mag-merge ulit tayo. Then, noting, paper. So, under ng motivator, so, first is yung compensation, no? So, may tatlo din question doon. So, lagay lang natin, home. So, in terms of creating for, um, a vibration doon sa mga subcategory, kayo na rin mahala. Pero, ito lang yung naiisip ko, form 1, form 2, form 3. So, meaning, under ng motivator, mayroong compensation na subcategory. And under the sub, uh, sub parameter na compensation, mayroon siya sa tatlong dalawa. So, gawin din natin lahat yun. Doon sa iba. So, next, working condition, WC. WC1, WC2, WC3. So, next nga, recognition. Ito ulit na tanong. Uh, rec. Rec1, Rec2, Rec3. So, under ng recognition, promotion. Wala na pala kasunod, no? So, alisin lang natin to. Okay. So, maayos na natin to. I mean, naayos na natin yung itsura ng dataset mo. Okay. So, the first thing to do is, for example, may nagsagot. So, for example, nagsagot ako. So, yung age... For example, ako, 19 to 24. So, itatype mo lang dito, 19 to 24. 
um, sex, ano ba siya, male or female, tulad ko male. So, civil status, narin natin, single. Then, third, nationality, of course, Filipino. Then, job status, um, sabi na natin, full-time ko nyari ako dito. Full-time. Okay, so, second questionnaire, so, sa, under na ako ng hygiene factor, is dito na tayo sa uh, uh, company policy and administration na sub-parameter, no? So, sa question number one, under ng CPA, dress code. So, um, gano daw ba, at ano ba opinion ko regarding sa dress code ng company? So, for example, five yung sagot ko. So, lagay mo five. Kapatid ka niya five. Pag four, sa next question, and then, and so on and so forth, no? Sa buong, sa buong sagot ng tao. So, next naman, kung next may nag-survey ulit, so, next naman, kunyari, uh, ano siya, uh, 25 to 29, and female, ayan, then, married, okay, so, uh, ganun lang siya, sabi naman natin, American siya, then, part-time, then, yung ano niya, yung opinion niya regarding sa mga questions na meron ka, ano? So, for example, dito, 3 lang siya, dito, 4 lang siya, dito, 5, dito, sa, ano, question to, or W natin. Dito sa relationship with co-workers, 5 siya, 5, 5, and so on and so forth. So, the main thing here, every column, uh, it will represent a questions and also a variable. By every row, it will represent um, a by row, it will represent the repre uh, what do you call this one? It will represent the respondents for each row. So one row, one respondent, one row, one respondent. So it will it, it will really take time. So especially for example, like survey ka, then you you have one thousand uh, population na pinag-survey yan. So, 1,000 di kasi dapat ilagay mo dito. So, it will take time. So, nga, as um, nagka-practice ng thesis consultant, ang pinakamatagal talaga is to, to collect data and also to transform data through this um, kind of format. no? Kasi, um, isipin mo kung may 1,500 yung data set, lahat yan kailangan meron dito. Then, in terms of analysis naman, madali na lang din naman yun sa mga translation nyo or analyst nyo. Then, ideally, yung format, madali na lang din naman. So, ayun. So, sana may, may natutunan kayo. Then, ideally, uh, magamit nyo sa thesis nyo, no? Kasi, hindi lang din, I mean, matutulungan nyo din yung mga translation or analyst nyo sa pag-analyze kasi yung data already ano na, pwede nang gamitin agad. Then, also, um, maybe, makatipid din kayo, kasi ideally, mga ibang translation kapag hindi pa um, tied yung dataset, so, sisingil din sila minsan ng, ng dagdag bayad. Kasi, sobrang matrabaho talaga to. Is, is, isipin mo, di ba, kung may 1,500 kayo na dataset, or may 500 kayo sinerve yan. So, yun guys. So, salamat sa, Pagpanood and hope na may natutunan kayo. Bye!